Right, so in case you don't know what Flareon VMAX does, don't worry, I don't blame you. Uh, VMAX Pokemon with 320 HP, single strike tag, although that, although that doesn't really mean much in this deck. But for free energy, you've got Max Detonate, which discards the top five cards of your deck, and then you do 100 for each energy discarded in this way. So if you discard three energy, you're doing 300. If you discard four energy, you are KOing everything in format, okay? And spoiler alert, we play a ton of energy, okay? <laughs> so that's gonna be our main attack. And now the reason why this hasn't been very good in the past is because it's for fire colorless colorless. That is an awful, awful attack cost, okay? If Welder was still in format, you could just sling those on and maybe this deck would be quite good, but before, it hasn't really been that good. But now Brilliant Stars gives you a sneakily good card that makes this extremely playable. Let's keep it moving. So, we have a 4-3 line of Flareon V. Uh, v Max, I should say. The basic player one is actually pretty good as well. With that flaming breath attack for one colorless energy, you do 20 damage, and then you can search your deck for a fire energy and attach it to one uh, to this Pokemon, I should say. This is actually pretty good because that 20 damage chip means that now you don't have to discard four energy, you can sometimes discard three energy with Max Detonate to KO some V Maxes. And you've got Scorching Column for Fire Fire, Colorless to 120, then your opponent's Pokemon is burnt. Actually, kind of usable. You can use it in this deck. You have got avenues and ways to get to it, but we don't want to be using that too often, let me tell you. We actually get to make use of Talon Flame V in this deck. Actually, a really cool card in this deck. Basic Pokemon 190 HP with that fast flight attack for one colorless energy. You can discard your hand and then draw six cards, and you can use it if this is your first turn going first as well. And the problem is, when you're running a deck that runs upwards of 20 energy, sometimes you just want to get a whole new hand of six. <laughs> and uh, this lets you do that, whilst having a decent little backup attacker as well. With Fight Wing for free energy, you do 160 when you discard one. So, actually, not too bad turn play. Also has a free retreat cost as well, meaning you have a pivot for the whole game. And our last Pokemon that we run is a sneaky, cheeky, a sneaky, cheeky one of Volcarona B with that basic Pokemon 210 HP, with the Surging Flames attack, which for one fire energy does 20 damage, plus 20 for each fire energy you discard pile, and then you shuffle them all back into your deck. This is really good because the more we turbo through our deck with max detonates, max detonates, the more energy we're gonna have in the discard pile, and then Royal Corona lets us reload them, put them all back in the deck, whilst also giving you a big fat punch as well. Really good for finishing off stuff that Flareon VMAX has missed. Our supporters in this deck are awfully strange because we just need to search stuff and get set up. Okay, so we have four Peony allowing us to discard our hand and then get two trainers from the deck. This is what's going to keep us ticking over because there's two trainers that we're probably most likely going to be grabbing and Peony lets us do that. I'll get into that in a sec, but they can sort of find yourself like evolution incenses, our stadiums, maybe some tool cards, wink wink, or quick balls as well. Peony is awesome. And then backing up Peony, we have three Skylers, similar vein. This only lets you search for one trainer, but this lets you keep your hand. So in some scenarios, Skylar's gonna be better than Peony, and that's why we won three. And then the last supporters we've got are two bosses all Now, not gonna be many turns you get to use boss. That's why it's only at a two count here. But if our opponent starts sending up stuff like one prize Moltres, we don't want to be taking one prize with Flurry on video. You want to be taking two or hopefully three prizes and win the game in two attacks. Buster's orders will hopefully help us do this. On to the items for Quick Ball, because we need to get set up. We need to get down our Flurry on Vs, our Tunnel Blinks, and our Volcaronas. So we've got to max out Quick Ball for this. Three evolution incense. This only searches out Flareon V Max, but it's super essential that we need them uh, so we can search them off Skylar and Peony. So we've got one some evolution incense as well. One ordinary rod because Max Detonate is going to be tearing through our deck. So is Peony. So we're going to have to maybe get back a 1 1 line or get back our Volcarona so we can win the game with that. Ordinary rod allows us to get that back. But then here's some of the spice. So four elemental badge baby if this is a tool card if it's attached to a flurry on v in this case you can reduce the attack cost by one colorless so now max detonate uh, cost two 
energies instead of food. That makes it really good. Because now, let's say you need to get to Flurry on VMAX in a turn, you can attach energy for the turn, attach an elemental badge, and then use one of your Magma Basin Stadiums, which lets you attach a fire energy from your discard to one of your bench Pokemon, and then you put two damage counters on that Pokemon. This means with a combination of a manual attachment from hand and elemental badge, and Magma Basin, we can get to max detonate in a turn, meaning we can just slam some big Okos on our opponent and hopefully win the game. That's what makes Flareon VMAX now a crazy good deck. Magma Basin means we can get three attachments on Talon Flames, on Volcaronas, on Flareon VMAXs, meaning we can reload and pop. And because of this consistency engine, we can run as many as one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 basic fire energies. <laughs> 25. And then we have to run a high count just so we can Oko as much as possible. Trust me, it looks clonk city, but it's not. With Skylers and Peony, you can get those Flareon set up and just bap, bap, bap. Your opponent's Pokemon straight to the discard pile, baby. Jeez! Some other cool cards you could think you could might want to run, I should say. Moltres to act as a little dinky attacker. Choice ban. Maybe something like an NTV as another little backup attack, a little turn G attack, letting you set up for some Flareons could be quite fun. But honestly, all you gotta do, as long as you've got four Basins, four Elemental Badges, Max Line there, stuff like this, and a ton of energy, you should be okay. So this could be a fun little deck, which I think is now graduated from meme status to potentially Oko City Merchant, baby. Jeez! If you're after some more Brilliant Stars deck, check out this video. If you're after a podcast, check out that one. And if you're after a video essay, check out that one there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.